Hi friends, so in today's uh, all you want to know about, uh, we are going to discuss some 10 uh, folk paintings and uh, basically what you need to know is these folk paintings are uh, something which have been passed down from generation to generation and it has been practiced in different parts of our rich uh, diverse country and uh, culturally uh, this is our uh, bliss that uh, we have these uh, beautiful things and uh, each of these paintings either depicts some epics or gods or goddesses some have a secular theme so but in these days of your uh, uh, and they were made up of natural dyes and colors made up of soil mud leaves and charcoal and uh, it gives a sense of antiquity vintage nostalgia so the 10 uh, folk paintings which we are going to discuss today have a high probability of coming uh, in our UPSC prelims and uh, you can also write a main sensor based on this knowledge so the first one is Madhubani painting and uh, this is also known as Mithila art and it originated in the kingdom of Janak so Janak was basically Sita Mata's father and uh, it is uh, during this uh, Ramayana time that it was developed in Nepal which is a uh, and now uh, uh, this is being practiced in Bihar so Bihar is quite closer to the Nepal it shares a border with Nepal so uh, all that was an integrated thing and uh, nextly what we are going to see is that this is uh, one of the most popular ya yeah, for Indian folk art and it's basically practiced by women who wanted to be one with God and it's characterized by geometrical patterns so this art form wasn't made uh, known wasn't known to this outside world until the British discovered it after uh, an earthquake uh, in 1930s revealed broken houses with Madhubani painting. So as it's seeing that it mirrored the work of Picasso and Miro according to William Archer, and most of these paintings uh, or wall murals depict gods, flora and fauna. Okay. So that's the beauty of a Madhubani painting. The next painting we are going to see is miniature, miniature painting. So these paintings were characterized by its miniature size. So size is metal karti hai, ki size chotu hai, lekin, uh, there are intricate details about it. And uh, uh, everything has an acute expression as you are seeing in this uh, image of this painting. कि वो एकदम इंट्रिकेट डिटेल्स है इसमें एंड दिस बेसिकली ओरिजिनेटेड इन द मुगल इरा अराउंड द 16 सेंचुरी एंड इट वाज इन्फ्लुएंस बाय पर्शियन स्टाइल्स एंड फ्लरिश्ड अंडर शाजा एंड अकबर रूल ओके एंड इट वाज लेटर एडॉप्टेड बाय राजपूत एंड नाउ इट्स पॉपुलरली प्रैक्टिस इन राजस्थान एंड एज विद अदर आर्ट फॉर्म्स दिस पेंटिंग डिपिक्स रिलीजियस सिंबल्स एंड एपिक्स दिस पेंटिंग स्टैंड्स आउट एज ह्यूमंस आर पोर्ट्रेट विद लार्ज आइज so this is something characteristic uh, about it that humans are portrayed with large eyes unka jo nose hota hai wo ek pointed nose rehta hai aur ek slim waist hoti hai and uh, men are always seen with a turban so this is a speciality of this miniature painting and the third one we are going to see today is fard painting so fard uh, is basically uh, originated in the rajasthan and as you are seeing in the figure uh, us pe ek uh, story depict ki jati hai so it's a basically a religious form of scroll painting depicting the folk deities Pabuji or Dev Narayan. Although there are uh, stories regarding heroic deeds also like Maharana Pratap and many other uh, great Rajput uh, kings and uh, leaders. So it's a narration uh, basically it's very lively and you see everything that happened so basically it's a 30 or 15 feet long canvas or cloth that it is painted uh, on and this painted canvas is called as fad the fourth one we are going to see is Varli so Varli is basically uh, uh, from uh, Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh border so there are Varli tribes in the Western Ghat region mein. so they are uh, like this is one which had originated 2500 BC so it is one of the oldest art form or you are seeing here you see human images are there on these paintings and they are basically very crude traditional so in fact uh, in Maharashtra you will find it at many places like on Mumbai University, Kalina University also at the entrance there is a 
वारली पेंटिंग इन आवर एयरपोर्ट देर इज ऑल्सो वारली पेंटिंग ओके एंड इट इज मेनली यूजेज द सर्कल ट्रैंगल स्क्वेर्स टू फॉर्म न्यूमरस शेप्स एंड डिपिक्स डेली लाइफ एक्टिविटीज लाइक फिशिंग हंटिंग फेस्टिवल्स डांस एंड मोर एंड वॉट सेट्स इट अपार्ट इज द ह्यूमन शेप अ सर्कल एंड टू ट्रैंगल्स तो ह्यूमन शेप कैसे दिखाया गया है कि एक सर्कल जो कि चेहरा है और ट्रैंगल जो शरीर है ऐसा दिखाया गया है एंड ऑल दिस पेंटिंग्स आर डन ऑन द रेड ओकर तो रेड बैकग्राउंड जो आपने देखा या फिर डार्क बैकग्राउंड है तो वो आपको पाया जाता है इसमें एंड दिस शेप्स आर इन वाइट तो जो शेप्स आप देख रहे हैं उधर तो वो वाइट कलर में रहते हैं तो दैट वॉज बेसिकली अबाउट वारली पेंटिंग एंड द फिफ्थ पेंटिंग वी आर सी टू गोइंग टू सी टूडे इज द गोल्ड पेंटिंग सो दिस गोल्ड इज बेसिकली गोंडी ट्राइब जो है मध्य प्रदेश में इनसे रिलेटेड है एंड इट इज वाइब्रेंटली कलर्ड पेंटिंग डिपेक्टिंग मेनली द फ्लोरा एंड फोना तो आप जैसा पिक्चर में देख रहे हैं फ्लोरा और फोना दोनों मतलब एनिमल्स है और झाड़ है तो वो सब दिख रहा है आपको and uh, the colors come from charcoal cow dung leaves and colored uh, soil okay so it's totally natural and if you look closely it is uh, made up of dots and lines okay see closely if you see that uh, peacock or that uh, deer you will see it's uh, of dots and lines and today these styles are repeated but uh, with acrylic painting so the traditional uh, touch has been uh, gone away and uh, it can be called as an evolution in gond art so what we do with acrylic painting and this acrylic painting uh, was created by jangar singh sham he was the most popular gond artist and he revived this art to the world in the 1960s okay so the next painting the sixth painting we are going to see is kalamkari to kalamkari basically you see the image uh, like uh, it is using kalam uh, pen that is a pen it has been done and this is basically in andhra pradesh and, uh, it basically means uh, drawing with the pen to so, kalam is pen or kari matlab drawing to so, kalam kari and there are two types uh, one which has originated in machili patnam uh, in andhra pradesh and one is at sri kala hasti which is originated from chittur in the same state so two styles same state machili patnam and sri kala hasti and why the former former that is the uh, machili patnam uh, refers to block printed form of art uh, the later that the sri kala hasti uh, refers to free flow, free flowing art with a pen or a fabric okay and today kalamkari art is used on sarees and ethnic clothing and it depicts anything from flora and fauna to epics such as mahabharata or ramayana okay and then there there is also persian uh, like islamic influence to this like it was patronized by the nizam and all that so you need to know that uh the next one we are going to see today is uh, tanjor uh, folk painting so uh, tanjor tamil nadu and as you are seeing uh, is basically a glass painting so uh, like uh, pehle wale painting se thoda different hai jaise aap picture mein dekh rahe hain glass painting hai isme and okay. uh, it's from tanjor or tanjaur and uh, it was basically originated in 1600 ad and it was encouraged by nayakas of tanjaur and later on the marathas uh, also uh, influenced it so uh, this uses a gold foil jo aapne pichle wale slide mein picture dekha to usme gold foil foil hai jo glitter hoti hai and it lends the painting a surreal look to ek lively surreal look aata hai isme and this panel paintings on the wooden flanks depict the devotion to gods goddesses and saints okay gods and goddesses and saints hai. and it borrows the style from maratha and deccani art as well as european style so jaise jaise rulers aate gaye yahan pe aur wo influence karte gaye isko and it evolved okay uh, the next uh, folk painting we are going to see today is cherial scrolls so what is cherial scrolls uh, cherial is basically from tarang telangana and it's originated uh, here and uh, this is a dying art form and it is practiced practiced by nakashi family only so na koi nakashi family hai and it is being passed down from generation to generation and as you are seeing uh, uh, this thing cherial scrolling so it's kind of a scrolling thing as and you are seeing uh, this tradition of long scrolls and kalamkari art was influenced influenced 
influenced the Cherial Scrolls. So Kalamkari also influenced the Cherial Scrolls, and the much more stylish version of Lakashi art it is, and it depicts uh, the Puranas and the depicts through 40 to 45 uh, feet scrolls. So Fard painting we have seen there. There it was small, like 10 feet के आसपास था. लेकिन ये जो है वो 40 से 50 feet scroll है. And it's an essential visual uh, accompaniment as saints wandered around singing or narrating the epics. They resemble the modern day comic panels with about 50 on each scroll. Okay, one scroll. Like in our comics, we have a story in the photo, a little comment, comment. So, this is a modern day comic panel. In every scroll, there are 50 images. And then it goes all and all. Okay. And they use primary colors, you know, primary colors red, blue, green, and a vivid imagination. A star contrast from uh, traditional rigor of uh, Tanjore and Mysore painting. So, Tanjore, we have looked at the key, I thought it was a lot of fun, and I think it was a lot of fun. The next folk painting we are going to see is Kaligat painting. So, Kaligat painting basically uh, originated in the 19th century in Bengal. Uh, and it was the time when up, uh, upheaval against the British was a possible exciting idea. Okay, so thoda British ke khilaf as a kind of thawo or uh, it what influenced during that time. Uh, although these paintings, they uh, say cloth ya pattas pe balaya jate, and uh, pehle it was uh, focusing on gods and goddesses like. Uh, but later on uh, during the British time, uh, it uh, took a turn towards social reform. So as you have seen in this uh, images, like a woman is beating his husband, maybe that husband is doing domestic violence. So woman is giving him a tight reply. Okay. So social reform, you can say, uh, and then with the cheap paper and paint colors, a squirrel hair uh, brushes are used and uh, color pigments. And this art has been characterized by flawless strokes. Uh, brushwork and a simple but uh, bold drawings okay and it sought to raise awareness among uh, this uh, social conditions in its viewers like uh, rich Zabindas were depicted drinking wine with women uh, and while uh, priests were shown with unchaste women and police babus be, be, being sloppy so it uh, tried to show show cast uh, social condition good bad okay uh, during that time and uh, the next uh, folk art we are going to see is Patachari, Patra, Patachitra. Okay, Patachitra. Patachitra is basically so, uh, one which is belonging from Odisha and West Bengal, and it's a cloth based scroll painting. And these paintings are the sharp, angular, bold lines which depict epics, gods, and goddesses. So, you can see in the image there are uh, epics being depicted, and it originated around the 5th century in the religious hubs like. Puri and Konak around the same time that uh, sculpturing began and considering there was no known uh, distinction between an artist and the sculpture back then so artist or sculpture is a good distinction nahi tha. Wo sab ek hi mana jata tha tha okay later on uh, it uh, was different, like different different so what's unique about this art form is that uh, the dress style depicted in the paintings has a heavy, heavy influence of Mughal era. So, dress, which is the first it has a Mughal era influence. That's it.